this is joint work with Dr. Preeti Goel and Professor Indranath Sen Gupta. So by an affine semi group, we may have finally generated additive submonoid of ND for some positive integers D. Uh, the cardinality of minimal generating set of an affine semigroup is known as the embedding dimension of S and it is denoted by ES. So let S be a semigroup minimally generated by A1 up to AN, which are vectors in ND. The semigroup ring KS is a K subalgebra of the polynomial ring uh, generated by the monomials T to the power AI, where TAI is defined like like this, T-I-S-T-V. Set. Set R equals to polynomial ring and define a map pi from R to Ks given by pi xi equals to t to the power ai and set degree xi is ai. Then this is a multigraded ring and pi is degree preserving subjective k algebra homomorphism and let kernel of pi is is then is is a homogeneous ideal and generated by binomials and it is called uh, the defining ideal of s. Now consider the cone of s in the rationals which is defined as the rational linear combinations of generators of the semigroup and set this at hs which are the cone s minus s and intersection with nd. An element from HS is called pseudo frobenius elements if F plus S belongs to S for all non-zero S from the same group. And this set is denoted by PFS. And we call the cardinality of this set the Betty type of S. Remark, the pseudo frobenius elements may not exist. For example, let S is the semigroup generated by 2, 0, 1, 1, 0, 2. Then this S is the subset of points in N2 whose sum of coordinates is even. It means the HS is the subset of points in N2 whose sum of coordinates is odd. And if we add S in HS, then we will again land into HS. Therefore, PFS is empty. But when HS is finite and non-empty, then this set PFS is always non-empty. Now consider the partial order on ND, defined as X is less than equals to Y if Y minus X in S. With this partial order, PFS is the maximals of HS. For example, let this semigroup S. <coughs> so here these big green points are generators, and the green points and the points under the shaded region are the points of semigroup, and red points are the set of HS. And you see this the points, this one and this one, these are the maximum of HS, and these are the pseudo frobenius elements. Now we define the maximal projective dimension semigroup. So a semigroup S has maximal projective dimension if its projective dimension is n minus one, where n is the, the number of generators. Equivalently, depth of KS is one. And Garcia et al. in 2020 proved that S is MPD if and only if the set of pseudo frobenius elements is non-empty. Also, they proved that if S is an MPD semigroup, then A in S is the S degree of n minus 2th minimal CCC, if and only if A belongs to this set. And this cardinality of this set is equal to the last Betty number of Ks over R. For example, <coughs> let S is generated by 2, 11, 3, 0, 5, 9, and 7, 4. Then by Macaulay 2, we have this resolution, minimal free resolution, and the <coughs> graded Betty numbers of second CCC module are 81, 93, and 94, 82. Then by the previous theorem of Garcia, we see the PFS is 81, 93 minus sum of the generators, and 94, 82 minus sum of generators, and this set. So here see the HS is not finite, so it is difficult to find PFS from an infinite set. So uh, we can find PFS with, uh, with, uh, with the help of minimal free resolution. Uh, 
how we define symmetric semi groups let press be a term order of on nd and fs is the maximum of hs with respect to this order if it exists is called the frobenius element of s so frobenius element may not exist but if hs is finite then they always exist fix a term order and suppose fs exist if pfs is fs only then it is called symmetric semi group and if fs and fs by 2 then it is called pseudo symmetric semi group so when hs is non empty finite then it is called a c semi group we are seeing as the cone of semi group and for c semi group uh, and when semi group is symmetric and pseudo symmetric we give a characterization of this semi group so let s be a c semi group and f is denote the frobenius element with respect to an order then s is symmetric semi group if and only if for each g in cone s intersection nd we have g in s if and only if fs minus g not in s and it is similar characterization for pseudo symmetric now we define extended wilfs conjecture the wilfs conjecture is defined for numerical semi group by wilfs in 1978 and it's in since c semi groups are natural generalizations of numerical semi group in the sense that uh, complement of natural numbers uh, of numerical semi group is finite and here complement of c semi groups in the cone is finite so every numerical semi group is also a c semi group so in the c semi group <coughs> we define the frobenius number like this n f s is cardinality of h s plus cardinality of the set g in s such that g is less than f s with respect to a term order so garcia et al extended the wilfs conjecture to the c semi groups like this so this the frobenius number plus 1 is always less than equals to the product of embedding dimension and the product of and the cardinality of this set so for numerical semi groups and natural numbers this is just the frobenius number the largest which is not the semi group and this is just the uh, the elements which are not gap but less than equal to the frobenius number so let less than equals to c is the usual relation on nd usual relations means g is less than equals to f if the all the components are less than equals to So for the C semi groups with full cone, we prove that S is sy symmetric if and only if the cardinality of these two sets are equal, and H is pseudo symmetric if and only if cardinality of these two sets are equal. And with the help of previous characterizations, we prove that for sigma symmetric or sigma pseudo symmetric semi groups, the extended Wilfs conjecture holds. for example let look at this example let s be the semi group defined by uh, generated by 3 0 5 0 0 1 1 3 and 2 3 then here we can see 7 2 <laughs> this is the maximum with respect to the degree lexicographic order and we see hs is these elements which are not point it the cardinality of hs is 12 and the cardinality of this set g in s g is less than equals to c fs is also 12 this one and we see embedding dimension is 5 and nfs is the sum of cardinality of hs 12 and those elements which are less than equals to fs with respect to that order degree lexicographic and that is 41 then the frobenius number is 53 and product of es and this is 60 then 53 is less than 60 then it is also less than the product of this is also less than the product of this and this because uh, this is the bigger set so less than equals to c order is also is a smaller one
Now we define the gluing of semigroups. So let GS be the group generated by the semigroup and A be the minimal generating system of S. And we partition the A into two parts, A1 union A2. This is a non-trivial partition. Let SI be the subordinates of ND generated by AIs. Then S is S1 plus S2. We say S is the gluing of S1 and S2 by S if S is in the intersection of S1 and S2 and the intersection of groups generated by S1 and S2 equals to the SZ means generated by S only. So for the gluing of semigroups, we prove that S is MPD if and only if S1 and S2 are MPD and this is the description of pseudoprobinous elements of gluing. So the, the, the pseudoprobinous elements are, of gluing are look like this. So the question arises, this set is PFS is always finite, uh, this set PFS is always finite, but the question is uh, whether this is bounded in terms of embedding dimension. So the answer is no. We prove by an example that where the embedding dimension is always four, but the cardinality of this set is increasing. So let A is greater than or equals to three, an odd natural number, and let P be a positive integer define this semigroup S A P generated by four elements and define this set delta which is the cardinality of this set is dependent on A and P. Then we prove that S A P is an MPD semigroup and this set delta is contained in the pseudo pseudoprobinous elements. And by the technique of gluing we prove that for each E greater than or equals to four, there exists a class of MPD semigroups of embedding dimension E and N2, where there is no upper bound on the Betty type in terms of embedding dimension E. Thank you.